This is Monday morning, October 26, 2020, and the bulldozer operator is back here working, working at the Worthington Diamond Mine. He's left his equipment here, but he has been gone <laughs> for about three and a half weeks doing other projects. Uh, he's a very busy man, has a company with uh, three bulldozers, two excavators, and dump trucks, and then They've also been making hay here while the weather was dry and he cattle farms as well and helped his dad with his cattle farm also. So he's very busy, has a lot of employees and a lot going on. And he didn't want to send an employee to do this job, he wanted to do it himself. And I'm glad of that. When you care enough to send the very best, we've got John Terrell here and he's gonna get this fixed right so he's removing overburden right now he had already removed the overburden from this area those buckets are just sitting there so someone doesn't drive off into the pit but he removed uh, overburden from this portion and i uh, excavated it I dug it up with the excavator, loaded it on the dump truck, hauled it up and stockpiled it near our diamond recovery plant, which is about 1,200 feet away. And I did that because winter weather is coming. Uh, it's kind of drizzling today, but not really gonna rain on us, we don't think. I believe he'll be able to keep working no problem as long as we don't have lightning here. That's not a good combination when you're driving a metal dozer with steel tracks. You don't want to be up on top of a hill like this when there's lightning. So, so far no thunder and lightning, just a little drizzle and that's not causing a problem. If you look right there where he's dozing, you can see gravel and kind of a different color, that gray right under his track right there and right by his blade there. That is where the overburden meets the lamperite. And he said he can feel that lamperite. There's really only an inch or two of that gravelly gray clay on top of it. We've got this brown clay called a crawfish clay, about three to four feet of it, depending where you're at in the mine. And then two or three inches or three or four inches of this gray gravel with cobbles and pebbles in it. And then we're right on the lamperite. And that's our pay layer, and that's what we want. Our lamperite is everything to the right of the orange flagging. This uh, orange mark and that white bucket marks the edge here. And it goes down right past the dozer. You can follow the orange flagging to the woods. And there's also an extension ladder there with orange on it. And everything to the right is the Worthington Diamond Mine. This triangle section of our 10 acres here is all uh, diamond bearing ore to a depth in our corner over here to the right of about 190 to 200 feet deep. So a fairly big triangle with a great deposit. He's pushing some material over there, some of the overburden, just to cover up the weeds and the stumps. And we want to follow this contact zone here. And I think we'll have a lot of progress by the end of the day. You won't see these uh, orange flags tied to the weeds anymore because that'll all be dozed down. And then he's also going to dig a trench down this way to the valley so it will naturally drain and we won't have to pump any water out of our pit. We want a natural drainage. So I think this is all gonna work great. Uh, look at the bedding. You can see it from here. How the lamperite laid here in here at like a 65 to 70 degree angle. 90 degree would be straight up and down, of course. So a 65 or 70 degree angle because we're here at the side of the funnel-like pipe intrusion of the volcanic material. And it laid in here 
at an angle. It's kind of nice that it is fractured like that so that when the excavator digs it, they actually dig up chunks of material uh, rather than one uh, solid uh, car-sized piece of lamparite. So it breaks apart in pieces because it is fractured. Uh, maybe when it cooled, it's uh, fractured like that. But it, it was, all of this material on the right once was molten hot, and it came up from over 100 miles deep at the speed of either Mach 1, Mach 2, or, or the speed of sound, or twice the speed of sound. And uh, many acres of volcanic material hit a shallow sea, and there was a great steam explosion. It must have been quite an event when that blew up a long time ago, and then everything blew into the air, mixed with the sand that was already here in the shallow sea, and then fell back into the funnel-shaped hole and filled it, and it just bedded and, uh, like this, like you see. And uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff. But in the next video, you'll see a lot of progress in this bulldozing. I know it looks like it's a slow go right now, but really he's moving a mountain of material with every blade full. So there's going to be a lot of progress here today on uh, Monday, October 26, 2020 at the Worthington Diamond Mine. Thanks for joining me. Please comment and like and check back and see the progress we've made here.